cookie run bonds. You know those little snippets of writing they tuck away on your kingdom cookie screen? The ones that give you measly little stat boosts for having a certain group of characters and promoting them? These things might as well be Wattpad fix. They're literally just blurbs of text next to PNG character art. But having so many of them begs the question, which Cookie Run Kingdom bond is the best? Trick question. The best bond is obviously the one you like the most. And for me, that happens to be the Juice Bar Regulars. Juice Bar Regulars is one of those more low-key Cookie Run stories. As the title implies, it takes place in Sparkling's Juice Bar. Herb comes in to taste test a new tea blend, Vampire waltzes on in and tells Herb to relax, unintentionally making him feel more anxious than he was before, and Mint Choco shows up in the end. That's it. That's the entire bond. It's definitely one of the tamer bonds. Certainly less intense than, say, the costume bond where Madeleine and Strawberry Crep agree to fight to the death. But, personally speaking, that's one of the reasons I like it so much. But it's not the only quote-unquote tame bond in the game. There's the one where we find out Pancake has allergies, which mostly consists of Werewolf, Kumio, and Tiger Lily staring at each other in complete silence. There's also the one where Clover and Herb meet up and be all peaceful and green, or whatever. Listen, I'm not a plant person. If anyone knows what's so magical about sitting in the middle of nowhere, do let me know. What, then, makes the Juice Bar Regulars the best one? Vampire Cookie. Okay, no. Vampire isn't the only reason this Bond's my favorite, but he definitely is one of them. I've always really liked vampires in media, but there's something about him being so unorthodox in comparison to other famous vampire characters that really draws me to him. Seriously, I even have a print of him framed in my apartment. It's signed. But Vampire's a great example as to why I love this Bond so much. All things considered, there's one thing that links these characters together, and it's not the bar. It's their simplicity. All the Juice Bar regulars are incredibly one-note. Vampire's a lazy drunkard, Herb's a peaceful gardener, Sparkling's an eager-to-please bartender, and Mint Choco is a rags-to-riches musician. For some people, the lack of personality traits these characters have might be a bit of a turn-off. Personally speaking, however, I love the fact that there's just so little to say about these guys. With barely anything confirmed, or canon, as one might say, there's tons of room to form your own conclusions, also known as headcanons, about these characters. Is Vampire secretly really lonely, masking a desire to connect with people? Does he actually have an alcoholism problem? Does he go around biting people traditional vampire style? Who knows? The game doesn't give us any answers, so you can think whatever you want. The only thing we do know is that these four are established pals. We've known that Vampire and Sparkling have been on good terms for a while, but this is the first time that Mint Choco and Herb have been brought into the mix. Having the both of them here allows for so many more possibilities. If you're not sure what I mean by that, think of it this way. Thanks to Herb's oven break relationship chart, we know he's friends with Spinach. Because Herb is now friends with the rest of the Juice Bar regulars, you can now have Spinach and Sparkling be friends, without it sounding too out of pocket, because they have a mutual connection to Herb. And when you look into the relationship charts for all four of these guys, there's tons of combinations to be made. Sky's the limit, really. Another thing that draws me to this bond is its implied continuation. For those who aren't in the know, official art is posted from time to time on Cookie Run's official socials, like Instagram and Twitter. These four have been depicted together multiple times. Particularly interesting is this picture, because it suggests that Herb's gotten over the nervousness he faced in the original story. And yeah, the artists definitely play favorites. They love drawing Herb and Vampire especially for some reason. As someone who usually ends up picking the background characters who get no merchandise as their favorite, it's nice to know that Cookie Run's social team loves Vampire as much as I do. Juice Bar Regulars isn't anything life-changing, but it doesn't have to be. Kingdom has really shifted into this sort of storytelling mode, especially with the happenings of Odyssey. 
But not every Cookie Run character needs to be super important. Some people might be destined to save the world, but personally speaking, I'd much rather be away from the chaos. Perhaps even enjoying a new blend of tea or juice with my bestest buddies. If only I had a few more of those. Thanks for watching.